and welcome to another edition of the Brash and Brazen Show on Zuni Damon. I will not be overtaken. I keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. We're going to run down a lot. Your comments, your opinions, share and subscribe, smash the bell, turn on all my notifications, and refresh my YouTube channel multiple times a day. The WWE signs a top star to a new deal. Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes. Remember, they used to be in a little a little group called Legacy. What's going on between those two? Cody Rhodes no longer with the WWE. We're also talking about a significant injury on Monday Night Raw. Is there going to be surgery to Jason Jordan's neck? What is going to happen as concerns the future and the predicament of Lars Sullivan in WWE NXT? And why did we see the events that transpired on Raw last night with Elias getting the pin over John Cena. Why did Braun Strowman look strong in the final segment of the Red Brand on Raw? We're going to follow all that up. Remember to share, subscribe, and remember to share my videos all over Facebook and Twitter. Ladies and gentlemen, it is being reported in some breaking news. PW Insider is reporting that the current WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, has signed a new, a new, four-year deal with the WWE that will have him staying with the organization through 20, 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, that is huge and impactful because that means The Miz is going to have, at least you would think, you would assume a couple more title runs in the main event. They also know that the WWE was looking to lock The Miz into a longer-term deal, but the two sides uh, finally settled on a four-year deal. So remember, The Miz will be with the WWE till. 2022 and can you imagine you know the Miz you know he here's a guy that has been able to avoid significant injuries and surgeries a man that has been able to trans you know transcend over into Hollywood uh you know the the, the Miz has found a way to make himself healthy some way somehow you can talk about the Miz's antics you can talk about the way he wins matches the way that he cowardly wins the matches whether it be by controversy or conflict the Miz gets the job done when it matters most and that is why the Miz right now is one of the most must see WWE superstars today, tomorrow, the past, the present, and the future. Dave Meltzer also discussed on the uh, Wrestling Observer Radio that the WWE had Elias, Elias also is seen on Ringside News, uh, pin John Cena last night to give to get him over and to follow up on the feud between the two, between Elias and John Cena. The two are expected to have a match later down the road. In regards to Braun Strowman absolutely destroying the two combatants in the main event last night. The idea was to help set up Braun Strowman and build him over as one of the top superstars heading into WrestleMania season. Huge update as it concerns Jason Jordan's injury and the significance that lies behind it. Will he need surgery? Will he have to take time off? Will he need a sabbatical? Will Jason Jordan have to retire? There's a lot of rumors and speculation and gossip about that. But Jason Jordan's wife... Now we're hearing it from the horse's mouth. We're hearing, we're hearing it from her mouth herself as it concerns his injury and what his future will be on Monday Night Raw. Now, in regards to Jason Jordan being injured and needing surgery due to the apparent severity of his neck injury, he's reportedly lost strength in his grip, and Jason Jordan's wife indicates that he will not he will not be undergoing surgery, which was reported on the websites in the dirt sheets and the newsletters. She said the following, I will address this once. Yes, Jason Jordan is injured. I assure you, everything you have seen online is nothing but fake news. He has a minor neck injury, and he will be back in no time. Although I am very excited to have him home for a bit, I promise. I will guide him to a speedy recovery. Thank you to everyone who has reached out to check on him. Uh, he is a very positive and already planning his comeback in the meantime. Just, ple just keep please sending him good vibes. So that you know, that's good. I mean, I, I mean, obviously the guy's got a stellar career. The guy's young. He's got longevity behind him. You know, he's really started his. He's only really started to come into his own as a singles competitor. Then he was in a tag team with Seth Rollins. Rumors that he was going to face Seth Rollins at the Showcase of Immortals WrestleMania. But viewers and subscribers, remember Cody Rhodes. Remember when Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes were on the same team at the same time in the same predicament. They've been for each other. They've been against each other. They've had. They've had blood. They have had animosity. They've had titles. But now they are sending tweets. And what does this mean on Twitter? I mean, is there more to this than meets the eye? Or is it just that? Well, Cody Rhodes says the following. Don't comment directly on my tweet as if I don't see it. Here's my answer to a fan in a random Q&A. Remotely po political. I have zero to gain. I worked there. You didn't. You bought a ticket, not an education. Sit the F down. So Randy Orton would respond to that and says, damn. Can't wait to have you back one day. Uh, legacy reboot. He says, ha, kid, it could happen. So then Cody Rhodes came back with, says, 
lean your head out the window and get some ear on those on those stitches. And Randy Orton said, sound advice. And believe me, when Legacy, when Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes were together, there was a lot of stitches, there was a lot of blood, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of animosity, there was a lot of torment. And viewers and subscribers, imagine that Cody Rhodes, who was going on a heck of actually, he, he's looking pretty good outside, you know, the WWE in the Indies and the in the in the smaller promotions. Rand, you know, Cody Rhodes is, is doing uh, you know stellar things, you know, in ROH and you know, other wrestling organizations around the world. Reportedly, Cody Rhodes actually making more money outside the WWE than he was in the WWE. Then again. And we, we all know that Cody Rhodes really was not happy with the way that they were utilizing him and the way that they were using him and the way that they were just kind of not, you know, kind of make of a mockery of him. And they did the whole Stardust thing. He didn't like that. He wasn't favorable at that. Although I thought, you know, Cody Rhodes did a pretty good job with that, but he wasn't, he wasn't too happy about that. He wasn't too keen on that idea. But, you know, I don't know why the WWE could have not done more with Cody Rhodes when he did. But Cody Rhodes went outside the WWE. He thought outside the box. And now he's making more money and a bigger name for himself. So, you know, more power to him. And as it concerns, the WWE wanted to make Braun Strowman look strong. I mean, the guy's topping over semi-trucks. The guy's flipping over, uh, uh, you know, staging. He, he's, he's, just, he's just going maniac. I mean... And the Miz versus Braun Strowman reportedly for a match at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental title. I'm not so sure how much sense that makes because the Miz probably wouldn't last, uh, you know, 10 seconds. Although the Miz, once again, has his tactics. He knows his way around that ring. He knows how to get the job done. And that is why he is right now the Intercontinental Champion. And it's not going to be a whole hell of a lot of fun if the Miz goes against Braun Strowman at WrestleMania. But viewers and subscribers, what do you think about, about the Miz signing a new contract? Are you going, are you excited? about this? Are you for this? Are you against this? We all know that his wife now is with baby. A baby is on the way. The baby will be born potentially by WrestleMania, I'm thinking. And then viewers and subscribers, share and subscribe in your comments and your opinions on all the rumors, news, headlines, hearsay, gossip, and speculation all under the roof. Sean's view entertainment. More to come from the brash and brazen. I will not be overtaken. Donate to my GoFundMe by clicking the link in the description or in the comment section of the video. Subscribe. Stay tuned. That's all for now, and you know what? This is the show of shows, and if you're not here, if it's not brash, it's trash. Later.